Are you looking to be more efficient with your Microsoft Fabric notebooks? In this video, I will reveal to you five essential tips and tricks that will save you a ton of time when developing notebooks in Microsoft Fabric. Welcome to the video, my name is Alexi and on this channel I cover all things Azure and today we are checking out some notebooks tips and tricks. And now, without further ado, let's start with our first tip. Now we have the fabric open here, and I have already created this blank notebook that I'm going to use to demonstrate these tips and tricks in this video. And let's move into our first trick. And this is how you can turn these files in your lake house quickly into delta tables in that same lake house without writing a single line of code. How cool is that? Unfortunately, we cannot perform that operation from this UI, and we have to open our lake house. And in this lake house, we can drag and drop files from our file section to our table section, like this. And this will then ask us to define our table name for that file. And let's call this movies2, since I have already movies table there. And then we can press load, and then Fabric will actually kickstart the Spark session on the background that will actually handle the process of turning these files into tables. And now we have actually successfully turned that movies CSV file into this movies2 table here. And now we can go back to our notebook and refresh our table section. We can see that the movies2 table is available. And this will take us to our next tip. How we can quickly query these tables here in this lake house without writing a single line of code. We can do a similar operation here and we can just drag and drop these tables to our code section in our notebook and this will actually create the necessary code for querying those tables. And one thing to note here that doing this will add this limit automatically here to 1000 rows, but by removing that we can query that data into a data frame and get that entire data set there without limiting it. And now we can move into our third tip that is going to be the keyboard shortcuts here in the notebooks. This can be found from the view tab here. And here we can find all the keyboard shortcuts that are available when doing our development work here in the notebooks. Also, I would like to note here that many of these shortcuts are the same that they are in the Databricks. So if you have been doing Databricks notebook development previously, using these should be quite easy transition. And before covering our fourth tip, I would highly appreciate if you would like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Azure and Fabric content. It doesn't cost you anything. And now let's move into our fourth tip. Our fourth tip is very interesting one, and this is the code snippet functionality in the notebook. This can be found under the edit tab, and then we can click browse code snippet. And here we can find a library of code snippets that we can use in our notebooks. And we have some code snippets for PySpark, Scala, R, and Spark SQL. But for now, the most comprehensive library is for PySpark, that is probably the most common language used in the notebooks. And here we can find a bunch of different code snippets like for visualization, using MS Spark utils, Lakehouse interaction, notebook utilities, logging, and notebook resource interaction. And from this code snippet library, we can just select the code snippet that we would like to use in our notebook, and then we can click this insert button that will then add that snippet to our notebook. And again, we saved some development time since we didn't have to write any code to come up with this since this was already provided by Microsoft. How cool is that? And now we can move into our fifth and final tip, and it is going to be using Copilot in our notebook. Microsoft has already integrated their AI assistant called Copilot directly to our notebook, but I have already covered the Copilot in a previous video. So if you're interested in learning more about Copilot and how it can be used to speed up your development work, please check out this video next. Now, thanks for watching and see you in that video.